lads and lasses. It's Uncle Larry. Little Tommy from NEO, Starship Trooper. This beer ain't too bad. You guys ever try one of these? Stella for a fella. It still ain't no Rolling Rock, though. I'll tell you that. I'm down a whole step on this old Martin. Still not quite in tune, but... I can't really tune a guitar by ear anymore, I swear. It's hard to do. I'll tell you who can. Vince Gill. That boy could tune a guitar by ear better than anybody I've ever seen. Watching him tune a guitar is like watching a swan land on a lake. Okay, so um, I just got home from a session, and I had a fun day today, working out at the castle with uh, my old buddy Brandon Hood. Uh, Castle's that old studio I showed you that looks like, uh, literally looks like an old castle. It was Al Capone's Nashville hideout many years ago. Man, that place is spooky. It's got some, uh, it's got some ghosts in there. I swear it does. People say it's haunted and everything. I believe it. Um, you know, Uncle Larry doesn't know how he feels about ghosts. You know, um, um, he's never really seen one, but he sure is, uh, spooked by all that stuff. I'll tell you that. Um, I was, while I was at the session, I was talking to some people and, and I was, I mentioned this old, uh, Liz Fair record that I used to love in my 30s, back when I was listening to all this, you know, depressing music when I was all depressed. I'm not saying Liz Fair is depressing, but she's got some pretty cool garagey rock stuff, but I used to listen to Elliot Smith. I wore out that Either Or record. God, I fucking love that shit. It's, as soon as that comes on, it absolutely mesmerizes me. And, and, and I used to just wear these Liz Fair records out. Uh, 1993, uh, Exile and Guyville and Whip Smart. They're super sloppy and, and just rough as hell, but there are so many cool melodic ideas on there. She's, she's got some, some serious talent. And, um, uh, I was talking about this one song on this Exile and Guyville record. I doubt many of you guys out there have heard it. It's, it's a minute and 30 seconds long. It's called Glory. And man, I'm gonna play along with it for you just to show you how cool these chords are and this internal chug rhythm that she's got going on this. You gotta tune down your guitar a whole step, so. A minor. Here it comes. Glory by Liz Fair. Uncle Larry style. <laughs> I'm showing this to you guys. I know it's a little obscure. Uh, just to, here's what's cool, in my opinion, about this rhythm part. It's like she's got all these cool accents going, chugging inside the groove, right? Um, a minor seven, hammering on both those strings, right? It's like she's playing like a gut string, 
tune down the whole step. And the, and the picking is relentless. Like it's, she never lets up during the verse bit. Every, you know, is all there. I love that kind of shit. Like, like what's left of a, of a demolished a D over F sharp chord. Like if you don't even bother to play any of the top notes. And that creepy organ going on in the background. Love that shit. And here's the B section. It's like an A sus chord where you just let all the top strings ring open. Resolve it. Into a C. Then the old uh, Pickardy third E chord, Beatles ending. another great one tune down a whole step um, people have asked me why why there's not it's not on this guitar but why do I put that white tape on the guitar everyone's always asked about that it's to kill all these overtones guys you don't want that shit ringing out when you're in the studio when you play a sharp chord you don't want that. All that shit. It's 38 uh, triple 018 I've had for ages. Killer guitar. Um, what was I gonna tell you? Uh, oh, thanks for the kind words about the uh, the Youngbloods uh, video I put up where I was talking about how cool that song is. Took me a minute to figure out how to play that riff the right way, but I figured it out. I just kept thinking and thinking and thinking about it. And um, thanks for the kind of words about the silly bluegrass freak out that I put up last night while I was watching the Patriots game. Man, what a game. Mac Jones threw, threw three passes in the whole game. Two of three for 19 yards, and they covered. Okay, guys, um, have a great night. And um, I'll talk to you real soon. Starship Trooper, over and out.